with the love of the Father. Welcome again to Jesus. This answer ministry broadcast. I'm Pastor Robert Scales, and I'm just telling you, we just we just been here just full of joy and just rejoicing, just rejoicing in God's love for us. Amen. And um, let's go back. We're teaching on the benefits of walking in love. <clears throat> in um, 1 John chapter 4, verse 7, Beloved, let us love one another. Let us love one another. Why? Well, love is of God. Everyone that loveth, loveth like Jesus, like Jesus on the cross, uh, is born of God and knoweth God. He that loveth not knoweth not God, for God is love. In, in, in this, verse verse, um, verse 9, in this was manifested God's love coming towards you. Here it comes. Here comes God's love towards you. When? When God sent his only begotten son into the world, that we might live through Jesus. Now, when you're going to live through Jesus, uh, you're going to have to live through what Jesus taught, what Jesus said, what Jesus did on the cross. Um, and so many times <clears throat> people are trying to get the blessing, trying to get the benefit, and they're not seeing how to walk in love. That walking in love is where our blessings are. Um, let, let's, let's go look in uh, Ephesians. Chapter four, <clears throat> and uh, now this 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 got a little cut in it, but it's not not cut up, deluding it, but it cutting you to where it'll convict you. Um, now we're gonna go to Ephesians four, yeah, verse twenty nine. Let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth. Yeah, I better take a drink on that one. Wow. Don't let nothing. Man, Jesus is going to have to be in control of you. If you ain't, it, 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 the Holy Spirit's going to have to control you. you you're going to have to be living in a place where you constantly are giving Jesus permission to lord and rule you and dominate the way you think, the way you talk, the way you act. Because we, we have to be led by the Spirit if we're going to live in the perfection of Jesus. So let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth, but that which is good. Uh, uh, what, what's good, Jesus? To the use of edifying. See, when you're building, you're building somebody up, even though you're correcting and rebuking it. That it may minister grace, which is the ability of Jesus' love, the ability of his love, that you are ministering the ability of Jesus' love to the hearers. So we should always be speaking with grace uh, where the, the ability of what how Jesus loved us on the cross, we're, 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 we're edifying one another and, and, and there are benefits in it. And grieve not the Holy Spirit, which is shed the love of God in our heart, whereby we are sealed to the day of redemption, is sealed in our spirits. Let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor, and isn't this next, and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice. That word malice in the Greek means a evil habit of the man. Now, let me tell you something. Satan can get in born again, spirit filled, tongue talking believers, he can get in their minds. And have you evil? <clears throat> and have you speaking evil? Evil is when there's no Jesus in. There's no how Jesus loved on the cross in. There's no mercy in it. There's no, uh, uh, and, and, and then he's, he goes, he says, he says, uh, be put away from you. And any evil habits of the man, well, I've just been like this for years. Well, put it away from you. Well, this is just how I grew up. Well, put that away from you. 
Well, I've just been shy all my life. Well, put shy away. Listen, when you give your life to Jesus, and don't forget tomorrow, I'm going to pray with you all. Uh, when you give your life to Jesus, it's not your life anymore. It's all about Jesus. He's all that matters. What he taught, what he said, what he did. Nothing about us matters anymore. It's, it's all about Jesus. Hallelujah. And then, then look, verse 32. And be ye cast. Oh, some folks, they need to go to college on that. There are many people who go to church need some courses on being cast. Cast. They can sometimes. They can when it's going to benefit them. But but really, you'll benefit being cast one to another. Listen to this. Tender hearted. No, oh, not harder. Oh, yeah, I, I forgive them, but I'll never forget what that low down thing did to me. See, that's hard hearted. Tender hearted is you, you have pleasure forgiving and forgetting because you have you are so thankful the Lord done forgave and forgot everything you done did wrong. And you can't walk in, uh, 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 the Lord done forgave you everything, you won't forgive others. Be ye kind. Kind. Love is kind. Love is also patient. Sometimes people are kind, but they ain't patient. Then other times people are patient and they ain't kind. But the Bible says love is patient and kind. Be kind one to another. Tender hearted. Forgiving one another. Even as God for Christ's sake have forgiven you. Be therefore followers of God as dear children. And walk in love. As Christ also have loved us. Hallelujah. And have given himself for us. An offering. And a sacrifice to God. For a sweet smelling Savior. Now. Let me get on my iPad here. Um, come on now. Ephesians. Chapter 5. Verse 1. And, and I don't know. I need. I need the message Bible. Hold on, man. I've just been learning this stuff. Yeah, let me find the message. Message. Hey. All right, here we go. Now, listen to this carefully. Watch what God does. I like my Bible better than this iPad. But you know, see, this, this, and I ain't, you remember, y'all remember, I used to have all them books up here. And man, I had, see, I go to my iPad, and I still got a couple of them, because they don't, they don't have the new livings, and then I got this one over here, but I read, read, read it out of here. But here's the message, Bible. Watch what God does. I still read my Bible every day. Oh, I ain't, I, I, I got that Bible. I ain't getting away from the book. Amen, I ain't. Watch what God does. I don't let the world come bring me to another setting. Now, I, I believe in technology to get the gospel out. Amen. But I didn't been reading this for 20 some years. I can't, I can't stop that. <clears throat> I, I'd like to see if people could see that the they, they, they iPad really is a, they, they, the presence of God on it. But I know it's on this book. Watch what God does, and then you do it. What, Pascal? I'm going to be just like God. Yep. Yeah. Like children who learn proper behavior from their parents. Most of what God does is love you. Keep company with him and learn a life of love. Observe how Christ loved us. Are you observing that? Do you observe every day how Christ loved you? Took your sins away while you were yet a sinner. <clears throat> His love was not cautious but extravagant. He didn't love in order to get something from us, but to give everything of himself to us. Love like that. Woo. Do you love like that every day? I do. Every second of the day, every minute of the day, every 
hour of the day, every day of the week, every day of the month, every day of the year. I'm always loving to give something. I'm not loving trying to get something. I'm, I'm going to get something back. <clears throat> the Lord going to bless it. See, I'm going to get a benefit from the Lord. You can't live in this love. Jesus lived this love and rose with all power in heaven and earth. God gave Jesus all authority in heaven and in earth. And so when we live his love, we inherit all them blessings. That's how he inherited it. And so we, we don't need the love to try to, you know, get stuff. Don't, you don't have to buddy up the people. Just, just live Jesus' love and God will bless you richly. He'll bless you every single day of your life. Now, so we see here in the message Bible in Ephesians 5, we observe how Christ loved us. His love was not conscious but extravagant. And this is the key to his love is he didn't love trying to get something from us. He loved to give everything. We should love to give everything Jesus gave us. Love like that. Love like Jesus. Let the motive of your heart be into, into how Jesus loved you to give that to everybody. Never make people earn it or deserve it. Always make people earn your trust. But once people don't earn your trust, it, just love every day. Never give your trust to people. Always make people earn your trust. And so the Lord tells us here that, that we are to love the benefits. Now, walking in love toward one another, uh, it's not just you forgiving them, but fornication and all uncleanness here in Ephesians 5, or covetousness. Let it not be once named among you when you become born again or become a saint. It's amazing how much sins in, 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 in churches. They, they don't preach right. Uh, God, God, God should expose that. People just live in any kind of way. You, you can't go to the club and go to parties and listen to worldly music and, and serve the Lord, holy God. Can't do both. Neither filthiness, nor foolish talking, nor jesting which are not convenient, but rather giving us thanks, staying thankful, staying thankful, staying thankful. Stay. I stay thankful every day. I keep my mind on thanking God continually for his goodness, for his mercy, for his blood, for his kindness, his blessing. I thank him for my home. I thank him for my furniture. I thank him uh, for my family. I thank him for the church and the ministry. I, I thank him for my call. And and and, uh, and I, I just I just I just thank him for divine help in my body. Thank him for a sound mind. Thank him for his wisdom, his grace, his righteousness. I just stay thankful every day. I don't have time to be negative. I don't have time to stay focused on what's wrong with people. Sure, I have to deal with things wrong with people. But I stay more focused on Jesus and what Jesus tell me to do about it. And all believers can be like this. Look at verse 5. I heard a preacher say not long ago that God uh, don't have no more judgment. Well, he don't in Jesus. But, but you still can wreak stuff your soul. For know that to this, no homeowner, no unclean person, I don't care if you go to church. Nor covet this man who is an idolater hath any inheritance in the kingdom of Christ and of God. And let no man deceive you with vain words that, that you can live in these sins and still inherit the kingdom. God's rule. You can't inherit God's rule. Because of these things cometh the wrath of God on the children of disobedience. And really the word disobedience in the Greek is the children of unbelief. And, and, and so 
Be not you therefore partakers with them. See, we're going to walk in love. For you sometimes darkness, but now you are light in the Lord. Walk as children of light. For the fruit of the Spirit in all goodness and righteousness and truth, proving what is acceptable unto the Lord. And have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them. See, God wants us to reprove stuff that people be saying that ain't right. And and, and it's, it's a ditch on, on a, uh, uh, you know, people being mean. You know, I listen to at every now and then uh, uh, some of them talk shows at night. They're just mean. If the Democrats in, the, 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 they, 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 they mean to the Republicans. If the Republican in, the Democrats mean. It's no love. I want to tell, teach you all. God told us to pray for our president. He didn't tell the group now. And I'm for, uh, you know, uh, uh, something against the word. But a lot of decisions, they're not against the word of God. They just a decision you didn't like. But if you came to Jesus as a church, you, wouldn't, you might not like every decision because God ain't telling you to do what he's telling me to do. And I'm going to tell you, saints, we need to pray for them who are in government. We need to pray for them who are in, who've been elected. And we need to pray God remove people who are wicked. And they're just evil to our country. But we need to pray. And, and I'm telling you, if, if you really listen to people, man, they, 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 they ain't blessing our president. They're not praying for him to get wisdom from God. And, uh, and it's just saying. Since we're in Ephesians, look, look over in Ephesians 3, verse 16. Well, I'm going to read 14. For this cause I bow my knees unto the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, of whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named, that he would grant you. Now, I pray this every day. I pray this daily that, that God would grant me according to the rich. I put the saints in there. That God would grant me according to the riches of his glory. See, not yours. His. That, that, that to be strengthened with might by his spirit in the inner man. See, so if you really study the scripture, study the New Testament, uh, you, 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 you want God to strengthen uh, that inner man. That's where the life of Christ is. That's where the love of God is. The very love that God himself is was shed abroad in your heart by the Holy Ghost. Now, that's where your strength comes from. A lot of people don't know that. And so they don't know how to worship and get down in there. Where that they have inner strength. They trying to get strength in running and exercising. And you do get a little a, a, a bodily exercise, profit and love. But godliness is profitable in all things. And, and so to be strengthened with might by his spirit, the Holy Spirit, in our spirit man, inner man, hidden man of the heart. Now watch. That Christ may dwell in your hearts by faith. Now, how does Christ dwell in your heart? He has to dwell by you believing and speaking and doing what he tells you to do. That's how Christ dwells in our heart. He, he can't dwell in there and you doing what you want, thinking what you want, saying what you want. He's not dwelling. He, he's not his life is not being lived through you when you doing what you want. Well, you know, this lady told me, she said, well, I like, I like Michael Jackson music. I said, well, you ain't no Christian. Christian don't like that man music. That man was of the devil. And, 
and um, and that's the, 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 the children of the world. Listen, they're not the children of God. We ain't dressing up like no spooky people, man. And um, it's just that stuff ain't right. So the devil. And people go to church and still listen to that stuff. That's pathetic. It's how bad the church is. They had churches on TV that had a glove of honoring, honoring. We're supposed to be honoring Jesus and honoring God and honoring his word. We're supposed to be honoring nothing like that. It's, it's, it's sad. Woo, Lord, it's sad. The people are trying to be associated with the, the Lord Jesus Christ. And that for all, that Christ, I'm telling you, say, some of y'all watching, you just as all when you're not walking in this life. This, this could be what, 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 what's wrong with your finances. This, this could be what, what's wrong in your life while you're not moving. Not going nowhere. Every time in my life that I see an area or areas that, that ain't moving, I always check my love walk. Always. Because 99% of the time, it's something wrong with your love walk that's causing you not to walk in the benefits that God has for you. I'm telling you, saints, that he would grant you according to the riches of his glory to be strengthened with might by his spirit in your inner man, that the Lord Jesus will dwell in your heart by believing, by hearing what Jesus says, believing and speaking what Jesus says, saying, Jesus said, be a good cheer. Well, then be a good cheer that you being rooted and grounded in love. Now look how Jesus is going to dwell in your heart by faith when you're rooted and grounded in love. Rooted, grounded. That means that this thing is thinking, you're thinking this every day, you're speaking this every day. Get around people who talk about love all the time, who talk about Jesus' love all the time. Get around people like that who talk about Jesus taught, Jesus said, Jesus did. Well, Pastor Gale, ain't nobody in our church like that. Well, get you another church. Um, that you be rooted and grounded in love. You may be able to comprehend with all the saints what is the breadth and length and depth and height. You'll be able to comprehend how Jesus loved everybody. And verse 19, and to know the love of Christ, which passes knowledge. What, what do you mean, pass knowledge? It, it, it will pass just, just, just knowledge about this. It's got to get to where you have experiences of Jesus loving through you, Jesus loving. And what's the benefit of that, Pastor Scales? That you'll be filled with the fullness of God. You'll be filled with the fullness of God. When you have experiences of living Jesus' love, you become you 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 come in a place where you are filled. Oh, I'm telling you, it's a glorious life when you live filled with the fullness of God. Now, verse verse twenty, under Him that's able to do. <laughs> Woo, glory to God! He, he's able. See, when you know this love. There's a benefit and a blessing that now God, when you live in this love toward others, how Jesus loved you on the cross, now you put yourself in a position where God is able to do exceedingly abundant above all you ask of God. God will never, ever do enough for us. He's not enough God. He's a more than enough God. <laughs> He'll never give you enough peace just for you. He'll always give you more peace. 
to go be peaceful to others. God will never give you enough joy. He will always give you more than enough joy where to bubble out on somebody else. God will never give you enough strength to make it in no test and trial. He'll give you enough strength that you'll have a testimony where you're going to help others now under him that's able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we ask or think according to the power that's working in us. Hallelujah. Amen. See, when you get this love walk right, you ain't got to worry about power. Power show up. I want to make available to you this six CD series, the benefits of walking in love, the benefits. And on the screen is our address for a love gift for $30. I'm going to make you check some money orders to Jesus. It's the Answer Ministries. Post Office Box 292-112, Nashville, Tennessee, 37229. And also, you can go online to robertscalesministries.org, and you can order there with your credit card, or you can call our church at 615-237-9802. So we, we uh, invite you all uh, to go online or to order these today. If you order them today, I'll send you a free copy of my book, this new book, The Believer's Guide to Christ. Read this. Many of the men I, I passed out, hundreds and thousands in the prison. Uh, and and uh, we help people. We, we give these to people when they first get saved. And you know, you need to check with this book because uh, it's scripture based. It quotes Jesus. Uh, uh, did you really believe and start your Christian walk on the true foundation of Jesus? And this, this will change your life. It'll bless you. So order them today. Also, I want to invite y'all Jesus Answer Church. Uh, we meet at 332 West Main Street in Watertown, Tennessee. A church that's alive is worth the drive. Amen. And we just absolutely love people. You come. If you don't get love, don't come back. But there's a spirit and grace of God in the church that is just tremendous. Amen. So we invite y'all to come. A service time's on the screen, 9 o'clock uh, Sunday school, 10 o'clock regular service. We meet on Thursdays at 7 o'clock p.m. Also, I want to thank my partners and friends. Thank you so much uh, for helping me. And, and saints, write us, uh, email us. Let us know how the ministry is being a blessing to you, how to broadcast. And I'm telling you, you know, you know, I'm sitting here talking to this camera, and I really need to know that the Word of God is really ministering to you and being a blessing. And, and if you can, send us an offering to help us, and we appreciate that very, very much. Well, my time is up today, but my prayer for you, saints, is that you will know the love of Christ. It passes knowledge that you be filled with all the fullness of God. So Jesus has the ministry. I'm Pastor Robert Skelton. Remember, saying that Jesus loved you and took our sins away. Go live that love toward everybody. Have a blessed day. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.